guys, super busy today, so I'm doing a crock pot meal. Super easy to do. All I have is some stew beef here. You can use steak or whatever you have in your freezer. It all works. It's all good. I'm going to put in some red onion and some garlic. I'm going to have some pepper, two cans of cream of mushroom soup, and a package of onion soup mix. But the first thing I want to do is fry these up. I don't want to cook them. I just want to make them brown on the outside. So let's go over to the stove and do that. I've browned all these. They're really nice and golden. I put about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in there. I'm not too worried about the inside. They'll cook in the crock pot, so don't worry about that as long as it's nice and golden on the outside. This couldn't be simpler. I'm going to put my meat in here on the bottom. I'm going to put my onions and garlic in here. As much or as little as you want. This is really versatile. I'm going to put my two cans of mushroom soup in here. Don't add any water. doesn't need any water. And I'm also not going to salt this because the soups have a lot of salt in it already and I don't want to over salt it. I'll salt it later if it needs it. And in goes the onion soup. And a little bit of black pepper. Again, you can season this any way you like. I'm going to give this a little bit of a stir. I'm going to leave this on for uh, six to seven hours on high. And then I'm done. So perfect for a busy day. So the lid goes on. And I will come back when dinner's done. Time to eat. Well, I got a little bit of rice here, long grain rice. I love rice. And our crock pot meal is done. It smells so good. And look at that. My mouth is watering. <laughs> I am so hungry. I can't wait to eat this. It took about, I took about five and a half hours I think. I took it off a little bit early but it's done. And that looks so nice and way too hot of course. The one thing about crock pots is if you have the a sale going and it's it's tougher meat, it's cheaper meat, you like it but you don't know what to do with it, a crock pot is the way to go because it will make any kind of meat that's a little tough fork tender and it will be fork tender just like that. It'll just break apart. Just, you know, it comes out that nice. And yes, I always mix my rice up when I have rice. Some people don't, I do. I'm gonna give this a test. Mmm, that's lovely. That doesn't need any salt at all. It's perfect just the way it is. Till next time. Hey, though.